Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're gonna dig into the differences between two coolers from Arctic, the Arctic Freezer 34 Esports single version versus the duo version. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. The Arctic Freezer is a sleek and compact air cooler that enhances any setup with a single tower design and four heat pipes. These coolers can add a touch of style with various color accents available, including black, white, red, and yellow. The only difference between these two coolers is the number of 120mm fans, with the regular version having one fan, while the dual version has two. In regards to installation, the Arctic Freezer's novel installation design can prove to be challenging at times, but we know you're here to see how the extra fan impacts performance, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclocked temperatures. We have two sets of charts to show you, one that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dashed line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Arctic Freezer Duo in red has slightly better performance than the regular version in blue. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Duo version outperforms at the lower RPMs. However, this difference shrinks to minimal levels as the fans approach 100% fan speed. Additionally, the single fan version is slightly quieter at the higher percent speeds. As we pump up the heat to overclock levels of 125 watts, we can see that the dual fan shows a slight improvement over the single fan cooler. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, both coolers have similar cooling performance for a given noise level. As we pump up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the dual fan design begins to outperform slightly across the board. And when we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that the dual fan version extends a slight lead. And if you're curious on how the eSports Duo compares against the golden benchmark, the NHD15, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.